Okay, welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about shaking the camera during cutscenes. Um, so this is another kind of simple topic, um, and we are still going to be working on our Kyogre scene. We are going to, now instead of walking all the way to Kyogre, we are going to walk a step forward. We're going to step forward two times, and then we're going to have Kyogre step forward two times, and each time Kyogre is going to shake the screen. Um, so to do this, we use the special shake camera that is defined um, that shakes the camera for us. Now we have to do a little bit of setup before we can use the special. Um, so we have to set four variables and these variables are like local variables that the C code can access and um, it's going to use them to set up the like actual engine stuff that needs to happen for the screen to shake. Um, so to start with, the first variable we're setting is going to be for the vertical pan, the second one's for the horizontal pan, the number of shakes, and the shake delay. Now these are pretty, um, you know, pretty obvious. Vertical pan is how much it's shaking vertically up and down. Horizontal pan is how much it's shaking left and right. Number of shakes is how many shakes it makes. Shake delay is the delay between the shakes. So we have to set up all four of these variables and then we call shake camera and then wait state to make sure that it is done. Now I've added a little delay just to time it out because you know some of the triggers can be a little quick. Um, so we, are, we have this shake script um, and we call it twice. Um, so this is our Kyogre trigger that we used in our weather video. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch it. Um, but here we set the weather, do the weather, apply the movement, weigh the movement, blah, blah, blah. And then after we have moved the player up to start, like the player's in position, then we call the shake script we wrote here. Then we apply a movement that moves Kyogre just down one time. Then we wait for the movement, then we call Kyogre shake, then we apply the movement that moves Kyogre down, then we wait for the movement. So we just do this twice. And then, you know, we continue on with our script. We set our, we call our encounter script that we have here from our Wild Encounters video. Um, so it's as simple as that. If you want to actually look at how the shake camera works, we can search for shake camera here. Um, but I already have it pulled up. Here is the actual task that is called when we um, shake the camera. And then on top of that, we can find, if we scroll down here, here is the special that gets called in field specials. Um, this is the G special variable 05, 06, 07, 04. These are the vertical pan, horizontal pan, and number of shakes and delay. So these are the variables we're setting here. As you see, the C code accesses them as G special var 0x8880006. And you can use this for, you know, you can use these variables in your code to interact in between the C code and um, and your script code. And, uh, you know, obviously that's how the developers of the game did it with this function. So anyway, we are going to take a look at what this looks like in game. Um, so I have already compiled and we should be able to test this out. So when we step up here, it's going to move us here, stop, shake the camera, move down, shake the camera, move down, shake the camera. Well, it doesn't shake the camera that time, but still. Um, let's look at that again, uh, because I wanna point out, look at the edges of the screen um, when it's happening. If you see the edges of the screen here and over here, it shows the, the trees that are here, over here. And that's kind of what's happening is it's moving the, it's moving the whole screen over a bit and it runs over onto the side. So obviously those trees don't exist on the left. And that's why it's probably not a good idea to do the screen shake unless you're in a particular type of environment, um, like a homogenous forest or on top of a mountain or in a cave. Um, but it's not really that big of a deal. You can lower the horizontal pan so that it still shakes the screen, but it doesn't show as much of the tree line. Um, when on the side where the trees aren't supposed to be, but of course that's all up to you depending on how you want it to look in your hack. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the camera shaking. Um, there, uh, there's a macro that there's a feature branch for to call um, shake camera to like shake the screen as like, it's like, you know, just a normal macro where it's like screen, caps lock is on screen shake and then you like have one 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 as your um 
the arguments to it instead of having to set the variables yourself. Um, and I'll try to look that up and link that in the description, but it's not really that important. You can always just set the variables yourself. It's not that complicated. If you forget what they are, um, you can always go and look at the source for some of the scripts. Here is the Lugia one, um, but you obviously can just type in shake camera and scroll down to where it's actually created and you can see you know the horizontal pan number of shakes delay vertical pan all right here um, for you to look at so that is camera shaking and uh, using shaking the camera for your cutscenes um, so hopefully with that you can make some cutscenes that look a little bit more cool if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment here or in the discord otherwise we will see you on the next one